Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Dreyer coming to you from Gem City Ford, Lincoln, and Quincy, Illinois. Burr, it's cold out here. I hope y'all staying warm. I'm going to be featuring this 2021 Ford F-150. I'm really excited about it. There's been a lot of new changes and upgrades uh, with the uh, F-150. Uh, let me just start by saying that the uh, F-150 has been the number one selling truck for 43 years straight. I'm sure 2021 is going to make it 44 straight. And you know what, I, I, just want, I would like to put all the critics to rest with this. No, it's not because we're the cheapest truck or we have tons of rebates. Quite the opposite. We're probably the most expensive truck and we have the least rebates. LED headlamps coming on down you got the LED they kind of you know Ford's famous for that C clamp this kind of cascades down the waterfalls down and gives it that C clamp uh, design all right coming out of the grill by the way they have 11 different grill designs for 2021 this is the sport package which means there's no chrome okay and it's blacked out I really like how they got the uh, different Sixty uh, sensors okay it does have cameras on the front and does have sensors on the front moving on around let's come around the side here I like how the body lines really just they taper off here kind of gives it that flip fender flare uh, appearance 20 inch alloy wheels six spoke design I really dig in this uh, blacked out Ford emblem here the uh, see the Ford patch Honestly, I kind of wish they would have put that blacked out emblem on the front. All right, but you know, they didn't. Anyhow, you got the uh, F-150 XLT blacked out functional vent. All right, you got the blackout uh, mirrors. Now I'm out here in the elements, cold. This is where this truck's going to be. All right, coming along here, something else. You know, Ford is famous for this. They got, you got this tapered design, how it tapers down. That's to give you more visibility. No other truck, but maybe the Nissan Titan has tried to copy that, but only Ford is the one that originated this. You got your keyless uh, uh, lock there. You got your uh, color coordinated door handles. You got your F-150 uh, XLT running boards. I really like this because it's really hugging the, uh, the uh, rocker panels really well. They're not hanging down low and get a lot of debris built up. Fender flare appearance. Really digging that. This is the FX4 off road package. What that means is you're going to get skid plates underneath to protect the vitals, all right? The gas tank, you know, the oil pan, if off roading is your thing. All right, stepping on around, it has the uh, soft uh, release tailgate. And look at this, this step. I can do this with my hand, all right? So, it's really easy, it makes it easy to step up in here. Grab your cargo, got your sprayed in, Ford bed liner. You wanna step off, step off. one hand. You got your big Ford F-150 stamped in there like Henry Ford stamped that in there himself. All right, just going on around here, you got this really, I guess there is one chrome. You got the chrome tip uh, exhaust that's circle mounted there. All right, or circular design, sorry. Uh, let's come on around and get to the, the business end of this deal. Okay, 
we're looking at the uh, business end of this F 150s. We got a five point liter V8 tried and true world famous Coyote engine here, tied to a 10 speed automatic transmission. You're looking at a 400 horsepower, five more than last year's, 410 pound feet of torque, zero to 60 in 6.2 seconds quarter mile 14.6 seconds at a top speed of 96.3 miles per hour it's got an estimated weight of 5,687 pounds with a payload of 3,325 pounds with a tow up to 13,000 pounds ladies and gentlemen it's going to pass some gas stations and it's going to pass a few uh, other trucks on the uh, on the road as well let's go ahead and shut this down another thing i really like about this it has the uh they call this the power dome it has the uh simulated uh, uh hood bulge in it that just gives it that vehicle a really nice sport appearance uh, let's step in the inside and take a look at some of the tech packages that are going on in the inside let's get my cameraman here out of the cold okay we're taking a look at the inside here we got the uh, 12 inch uh infotainment uh stack here i mean i even i can see this uh you have your uh on top here you have your auto stop basically when you pull up at a stop sign this engine will shut off and uh it'll start back up as soon as you take your foot off the uh accelerator now you can disengage that or keep it engaged you got your 360 camera you have your backup uh, sensors there you have your traction control over here you have your downhill uh, descent so you don't have to ride your brakes going downhill uh, you got your built-in navigation now this is sync 4 so what that's going to enable you to do you're going to get apple carplay and android uh, auto cordless all right gone are the days where you have to have that tie that uh, cord into your smartphone to get your apple carplay to work all right you got your USB ports down here. You got a nice little storage area down here where you can store a lot of M&Ms or uh, some Twinkies if that's your thing. Uh, you have your, uh, what they call the uh, power shifter there, just kind of uh, recessed down into the uh, cup holder there. Here's what I really like. Look at this workstation. You can set a laptop here, uh, figure out your job estimates, uh, eat your lunch. Uh, you could maybe come in and just, we could just sign a, a buyer's agreement right here on this thing. We can do, you don't even have to come inside. We can do everything right here, huh? <laughs> so you can change a baby's diaper here if you like, you know. Uh, a lot of things you can do here. I, but that's, I really love this, all right? Something that's just the littlest things that gets me excited, all right? Uh, getting back to this uh, this uh, uh, infotainment system here. Look at this thing. Check this out. You got this zone lighting, all right? For you contractors out there working late, uh, cleaning up the job, pull this truck up on the job site. You can use this truck for, for zone lighting. This thing will light up the whole job site area, all right? Um, all right, 360, all lit up. Front, sides, tailgate, uh, cab. Uh, just lights everything up built-in navigation just a really slick uh, outfit here here you have your uh, backup assist you have your drive modes you got slippery normal that's your uh, tow haul eco so if you want to save some fuel there's your sport mode, just tightens up the suspension, gets you a little bit more traction there. Just going back through, tug on through. Uh, there's your normal, there's slippery, uh, deep snow and sand. You have your rut, mud and rut. And look here, this thing has really slick, has a uh, rock crawl. For, you can take this thing off road, has rock crawl mode. Just get this back to normal. All right, just see how I can toggle through that. I just, I love that display. Another thing I'm really digging on this is the leather wrap steering wheel. You got the double stitch baseball, kind of like a baseball stitching there. You have all of your, uh, you know, you got your lane keep assist, your adaptive cruise controls buttons right here. You got your call button here, call out, because you can hook it up with Bluetooth. Uh, you know, voice activated uh, navigation. I mean, just a really, really slick uh, outfit here. Here you have your uh, carbonite, uh, kind of like a simulated wood. Now this is a dual uh, 
glove box. Boom. All right. I mean, you can store a 12-inch uh, uh, Subway sub in there or maybe a firehouse sub, huh, for all of our firehouse people out there. Um, so uh, you got dual climate control, heated seats, uh, trailer brake, brake assist, uh, just so, so, so much more on this. All right. There are a couple of, just uh, wrapping this up, there are some really cool features here. If, if my cameraman, Evan, can... Can you get a load of this? Can you zoom in on this? You know what that is, ladies and gentlemen? That is a map of Detroit because this vehicle is manufactured in Detroit, Michigan. And that is a map of Detroit, all right? And along the, see how there you go. See that right there, a map of Detroit. You have your easy access uh, lock and unlock bu buttons. I'm just really excited about this truck. There's so much, so much more to this truck that uh, to go over everything, it would take me literally 25 minutes. Um, come see me. Uh, you're gonna like buying from Mike at Jim City Ford Lincoln and Quincy. Um, and you'd like to know more, have more information about this truck, I'd be more, more than glad to help you out. Um, Y'all stay warm and safe out there now.